The new RTX6 Cleveland wedge has Hydra Zip grooves. I'm going to put them to the test. So RTX6, absolutely gorgeous golf club. I like the sort of clean lines on the back here. I've got this in a 56 full bounce because I like to have a little bit more bounce sticking up because it helps me hit the ball lower in the face, which creates more spin. I also don't play off bare lies that often, so I don't need to tuck under the ball as much. What I might do is go full grind in the 56 and low grind in the 60 to give myself that option if I need it. But I tend to use my 56 a bit more often from a multitude of lies. Just just get a load of those grooves. Look at all this milling out here. In between those grooves is little micro grooves that just give it way more grip. For the purpose of the exercise, I'm gonna use the Strixon Z Star Yellow. And I've just done a little test comparing these to the white ones, but you might have to watch that video to see the difference. And then I'm gonna to go to the full swing, get some yardages, get some spin rates. And because I'm a child, I'm gonna squirt it with a squirty gun. So I always stick the pin at 110. Cool. Oh. Backspoon. I have taken a little bit of cover off of that golf ball. See it sticking up at the top. That is grippy. 107 again. When I'm testing my yardages, I do tend to look at the carry number ahead of anything else. Because ideally I want to be able to create the same carry as often as possible. 107, 107, 109, albeit left of target. So from that angle, I've got a bit of a spread left to right. My carries are there or thereabouts, but I'm putting a similar pattern through each golf ball. So the golf ball that's left on the face, it looks quite white, but the golf ball's yellow. I think it's because it's that sort of like plastic film almost that's on the outside of the ball. There we go. Water fight. That should do the trick. And a little bit on there. Do 110 yard pin. One oh eight, and again I'm trying to put the same swings on I did as I did before. Trying not to adjust to what's happening on the shot. Normally I'd try and hit it lower and brighter, but I'm just putting my stock swing on it, which goes left. One oh nine, a little bit more. One ten, and I just want one more shot. And 104. So pretty good grouping all in the same area there. What do the numbers say? Hang on, I need one more shot. One oh four again. So data wise, dry we've got 107 carry with two yards of variance and 10,700 spin, 32 launch. When we go to the wet ball, we get 1.5 degrees higher launch. The speed is 0.8 mile an hour different, so negligible. Spin wise, we're a thousand revs less, just over a thousand revs less. So we can get over 10,000 spin with wet, but with dry, they're all over 10,000. And 10,000 is normally a number, like the number for me that's a bit of a benchmark. So 107 with two variants against 107 with two variants. I'm getting the same result. The ball's landing in the same area with just a tiny bit less spin. What I was expecting was that more skid on the face would cause the golf ball to vary more. Even though we get some differences in the spin and the launch, we still got that ball landing in the same area, which on the golf course is exactly what I want.